everyone, it's Moki with Mokechi TV where we bring your family health and happiness with online video. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. And go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on our daily videos. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and share it with anyone who you think might find value in it. So before I get on with it, all the um, information that I mentioned will be linked down in the description box below. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything to say really, or tell me how much you enjoy this video, or whatever, leave it down in the comments box below. So, now getting on with this video. This video is in response to a question from one of our viewers, Anita Stoyanova, who has a four-year-old son with erythrocardermia varabilis. And if you don't, if you've been watching us for a while, we posted, uh, can post the video maybe a couple of months ago about his skin disorder, which is erythrocardermia varabilis. And um, so I will link that video up here. For you to watch if you want to see that one first and then come back to this video so you might understand a little bit more about what the disorder is and that kind of information uh, if you're not familiar with it really when it came comes to the skin I'm really the one that really cares for it so I'm going to share a little bit on what I found works with his skin and the top two things that I can tell you need to be instilled in your head is one sulfate and chemical harsh chemicals free and two go organic and plant-based if you can um, it takes a it's a process even to transition into that but that's really where you want to go um, if you have this skin disorder because even as she said the doctors and everyone don't know a whole lot about it um, but what I do find is that the harsh chemicals in soaps, lotions, cleaners, anything flare up um, the skin. So this video, I, I have a few different videos. Um, there's going to be one about a bath soap, there's going to be one with skin masks and different things like that. that um, I don't want to make this video so long so I need to get on with it. But this one is going to be things that you can use for your baby because she has a four-year-old son and so that's a great place to start for me. So what I, when I first approached the skin um, thing, I approached it kind of like hair because skin and hair are very related. So if you've heard of the lock method, Basically, that's how I approached it. So, LOC, L-O-C, stands for leave-in oils and conditioners. And actually, in this sense, L would be lotion, and then C would be cream. So, it would be oil, lotion, cream. And that's the order that I follow, basically. And you want to make sure that you're using nutrient-filled um, lotions and stuff like that. Okay, so... The first thing, and she had mentioned in her comment as well, that she used coconut oil. Now this is the fractionated coconut oil, and also I have to disclaim that I received this one for free uh, in exchange for a review, but that was on Amazon, not for YouTube. Um, but anyway, the fractionated kind works a whole lot better than like the regular kind that you buy in the grocery store or whatever. Um, so pick you up a bottle of this fractionated one and this this is a good brand if you're looking for one. Another oil that really really helps is this Honest Company Organic Baby Oil. This stuff ha is wonderful. Like before I found this, these oils were really what I would use in the first place before I even found this product. This lasts for a long time for your baby and it is way better than the regular baby oil because it has a ton, ton of good oils. It's got sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, uh, jojoba oil, avocado oil, grapefruit oil, um, grapefruit peel oil, and, and even more. It's certified organic, um, sensitive, 
for infant and everyday use. So it's hypoallergenic, plant-based, biodegradable and organic. And this really, really, really works well with the, um, the dry skin and plates. Okay, so moving on to lotions. Um, the first one, this is actually the hand cream version of it, but um, there's a lotion version of this that works wonderful with the uh, erythrocodermia variabilis skin um, dryness in plates. And that's the oatmeal, uh, Avon oatmeal lotion. It works wonderfully. Um, you would, but the thing is you would have to speak with the Avon representative or order it on their website. And I've heard that um, ordering from their website can be quite um, a pain in the butt. But you can find a representative anywhere if you live in the States. I'm not sure if if they're in Canada and the US. Or um, you might be able to find it at a local flea market. Um, so here's another one that works wonderful. Is this um, Baby Ganics Moisturizing Daily Lotion. So you would, um, all these lotions again, you would put after you use the oil. And this is also hypoallergenic, plant-based, and um, all that good stuff. Sulfate free, paraben free, mineral oil free, fragrance and dye free. Um, that's not a good one. Fragrances uh, irritate the skin too and dyes. Um, so again, like I said, you really gotta think organic based because a lot of the things that we were, if you're not into that stuff, a lot of the things that you think are just normal, like even a lot of baby soaps and stuff like that, you'll be surprised how much really harsh stuff is in that. In even baby baby soap, like we had to really search for these these products when we had our baby, and then we used it on ourselves and found that it really worked, and it really makes it really really makes a difference. Okay, so another um, lotion, and again a baby lotion, and if you're an adult, yes, you can use these on your own skin. Um, because like I said, Ken's an adult and this is what we use on his skin. Um, Shea Moisture, Baby, what is this? Shea Moisture Raw Shea Chamomile and Argan Oil Baby Healing Lotion with Frankincense and Myrrh. And um, I think that the Baby Ganix works better but this one also does work. And again, I will link all these products um, in the description box below um, so you can check out more information on these because I'm trying not to make this video so long um, another great one is this Vaseline cocoa butter what is it Vaseline intensive care cocoa radiant with pure cocoa butter the only thing about this is that the fragrances it has fragrances in it and for me, it makes me break out, and sometimes for him, it might cause some irritation, but it still works great in combination with the oils and, and creams because of the cocoa butter. And um, you can buy cocoa butter in the raw tube like this, like that's how we did in the first place. Like we will buy the raw cocoa butter and um, shea butter, and I, I would do it and put all, in all the oils and um, butters and whatever and make it ourselves. Um, and if you're interested in seeing that, I can definitely do a tutorial video on how we made that um, mixture. And the last lotion is this Honest Company Face and Body Baby Lotion. Um, it works well. The best one of these I would say is this Baby Ganix one. However, they are all the Baby Ganix and the oatmeal of the lotions and of the oils, the oil, the Honest Company oil. Okay, so finally we come to the creams and this cream works amazing. Like I saw it and uh, responded in Sam's Club and I was like 
do they really have like it's um Swiss oh this one's labels better uh, vitamin it's a vitamin E cream Swiss collagen complex moisturizing cream for dry and sensitive skin with uh, biologically yeah biologically compatible amounts of vitamins A and D so um, this is what it looked like and we actually got it from Sam's Club but I will find it online and link it below I love this works amazing with the skin so the only thing about this is that it has vitamin A in it and vitamin A makes your skin sensitive to the sun so to combat that all you can do is put sunscreen under it if you're going outside or stay inside stay in the shade type of deal um, especially in the summer uh, but um, this one for as far as the skin condition goes this one works amazing just be aware that the vitamin A makes your skin sensitive to the sun so that's as far as the lotions and oils go as far as soap since I mentioned it before I don't have it on me right now but baby Gannix it it comes the container looks similar to this it's a firming baby wash that is amazing for your baby um, with this skin condition another good option would be the Shea Moisture baby shampoo what is this head to toe wash and shampoo so you can use this as the body wash and um, shampoo this is what we use for our baby uh, actually this is what we use this is what we all use to get our baths so yeah it works great for adults and babies um, so I would recommend you make that switch if you're using I don't I don't really want to call out um, any names but a lot of the bigger top brand baby washes do indeed have sulfate so yeah I hope this video has helped again that's oil lotion cream not all the time I use cream usually it's at night time when he's going to bed and again with this cream the vitamin A uh, makes makes the skin sensitive to the sun so that's why a lot of times I would do it at night rather than during the day when it's outside or whatever um, so if you have any questions leave them down below for me and the next video I'm planning to do is um, uh, bath soap that really works well it's wonderful and you will enjoy the aromatherapy and your skin also will enjoy it so yeah if you want to see any other videos in relation to erythrocodermia or how to deal with it growing up even and stuff like that leave it in the comment box below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please share it with anyone who you might find um needs this information or might might find value from this information and we will see you next time bye bye